on my way up to Iowa for a delivery tomorrow. Actually booked another couple of good loads that run me through the weekend. Clutch trucker going to e-logs and more options for parking with the Park My Rig app and book on this episode of the Clutch Trucker Channel. Clutch Trucker filmed before a live and furry studio audience. That is Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker Channel. Alright, here it is, Wednesday, the 19th of October. Driving along uh, Highway 163 here in Iowa. Got that, uh, still got that load I picked up down in uh, Valdosta, Georgia. Delivers in Des Moines tomorrow. And uh, had plenty of time to, to waste on this run, so got up real early in the morning, drove through uh, St. Louis, be way before rush hour and all that, good time to drive through there. And uh, yeah, then pulled over in Eola, Iowa, and said, yeah, let's take a nap, because I can. <laughs> it's nice not to be rushed. So then uh, pulled off and was looking at the load boards for some stuff available tomorrow. And, I already got myself a couple of loads booking uh, to get me on through the weekend and into next Monday. The uh, water pump that came with my uh, water tanks for my whole fresh water system and everything, it's, it's leaking real bad. And uh, so I got to replace that. So the other day I ordered a new one off Amazon that's uh, going to be hitting, of all places, the Ross Dress for Less. <laughs> in the Des Moines area, and uh, it's not supposed to arrive till sometime on Thursday. So I was kind of hoping, well, maybe I can find a shorter load, so just in case I gotta go back on Friday to get it, I can, and I was able to work that out, so I'm not sure when on Thursday it's gonna hit that place. So after I deliver uh, Thursday morning, I, I was calling around, I called on this actual uh, different load, a hazmat load that uh, was not available, but he said, well, I got this other one, I said, okay, well, I'm delivering in Des Moines. He has one. I said, where are you delivering? I gave him the address. He said, yeah, that's where it picks up. So you got to love those kind of loads. That, you know, delivering, you pick up the same address, no dead hat at all. It's only about 120 miles, paying 700 bucks. Can't complain about that. So uh, that gives me time after I pick up at the same place I deliver tomorrow morning. I can run by that. Ross, well, Amazon will let me know whether my thing is there yet or not. If it is, I can go pick that up and then head on up to the delivery. I think I can even deliver that day if I wanted to. And uh, if it's not there, well, I can catch it again on the other way because I found another load. This one's a hazmat load. Uh, picking up somewhere in Iowa, delivering somewhere in Texas is all I can say because it's a hazmat load. But if need be, I can always run back through and pick up my pump. So sometime over the weekend, I can swap out my water pump for my whole fresh water system and uh, hopefully take care of that so I don't have the water leaking all underneath my bunk area anymore. So that's the goal there. But anyway, so that sets me up all through the weekend uh, into next Monday. So we'll hopefully find something good out of there, out of the area I'm going to on delivering on Monday to get me back out of there. And like I said, I can't really talk about where I'm going because it's a hazmat load, but, you know, at least uh, all good paying stuff and sets me up for the whole weekend and maybe I can actually get my, I have, you know, I've got tools on the truck, I always carry tools with me and I've got uh, some extra hose clamps and hose pieces and all that so to swap out the pump in case I need a few extra parts that I don't have so I can get that done. So I always say if you got a little extra time there's always something to be done on these trucks. Take care of that in your time off while you can so you don't have to pay somebody else to do that crap. And besides this whole fresh water system on my remodel for the toilet and the sink and all that, well this was all kind of a dreamed up plan of mine so Nobody else will be able to know how to fix that or place a pump on there anyway, other than me. Only about 14 miles from where I'm going to stop uh, this afternoon. Still I'll have a nice long break, plenty of time there. A little Casey's that apparently has about 10 parking spots. It should be early enough in the afternoon, central time. Only it should be about 
3.45 p.m., so hopefully I can grab a spot there. That puts me about 30 miles from my delivery in the morning because I'm taking these smaller highways up because I came up, you know, St. Louis up uh, through Hannibal, Missouri, up that way. Uh, it didn't make sense to run all the way up to the interstate and run the extra miles. And Iowa, as you can see this road here, it's actually a nice four-lane highway. Uh, it's a pretty good way to go. There's not a lot of traffic on it. So that's the positive thing. We just hope we'll get a spot. If not, I can probably find some other stuff. Found that one on Trucker Path. Uh, also want to mention, I, I keep meaning to get to this video and I haven't gotten to it. Uh, the Park My Rig guy, a junior a while back, sent me the book. I got it right here if I can grab it. Come on, baby. Yeah, Park My Rig. Truck stop. Well, it's not only truck stops, but the nice thing, the thing I like about that book is it shows you a lot of alternatives other than truck stops to park, and he also has an app, and he gave me access to the app for a year, which isn't that much money. I think it's only 20, 24 bucks a year, uh, and he gives you a lot of details about, you know, what they have there and where you can park, uh, and gives you a lot of other options outside of just the truck stops that your GPS is going to want to give you, and even a lot more locations than, like, Trucker Path will give you, and it's a truck driver putting all this together so he's going to tell you what you need to know and you don't have to rely on just these idiots who put all the comments on the trucker path going well i didn't like this and, you know you can't spell where the crap so he actually gives you some real information uh and it's very useful so i've been meaning to talk about that i want to do a full review of his book and his app coming up it's just had so much going on I haven't had a chance to get to that but uh, Park My Rig, you can find that in the App Store, and uh, the book is available at uh, major truck stops, too. Uh, I think uh, Iowa 80, I know they have it. So, anyway, just gives you guys another option, a little more help, right? What do you think? Alright, just getting off here at the exit from Monroe, Iowa. <clears throat> I think I can honestly say I've never stopped in this town before. But, uh, over here to this Casey's. I saw it looks like they got some parking open. So that's good news. Something just flew at me. That was weird. Okay. <laughs> so, just going to get across this intersection. We'll get on over there and get her parked. I got a shower at the uh, Ierco somewhere. Where was that? Canton, Missouri, I believe. Wasn't the best. I like a blasty against the wall kind of shower. Water pressure wasn't the best, but you know, can't be too picky out here. It's only ten bucks. Can't complain about that. So, ten bucks. At least I'm clean. At least if I got to pay for one. At least here the room was nice and all that. They didn't give me soap. I always have extra soap with me though. And uh, so, clean and refreshed. That's always good. Turn all left right. on County Line Road. Then take the first left. We'll turn on into this KC's and we'll find ourselves a place to park. Shut her down, baby. Shut her down. Love Casey's Pizza. But I had a pizza earlier this morning before I left Yola, or Yolia, Iowa. Cooked one up in the old Ninja Foodie. Love that Ninja Foodie oven. Nice to have that in its own permanent place here in the truck. It's a beautiful thing. So many nice food options with my big freezer and big fridge and all that pretty much self-contained here Turn left on Ralph Street there's a subway if I had her hankering for that but I can make a sandwich here in the truck a lot cheaper so no point in giving them my money all right yeah it's rare that I can say I've never parked here before, but I can actually say I've never parked here before. Well, you've got a, a Jersey freeze if you want to get an ice cream Driving cone. at Casey's General Store on the right. Gee, thank you, Bertha. All right, well, we got some parking over here. It's gravel, but that's fine. Looks like we got grass on either side. So we'll get ourselves a nice spot over there near the grass for Rusty. Make sure we keep the dog happy. Yeah, this looks like it'll work out. 
back in. How about that? Can just pull straight into this. I'm a Turn right on cuss. County Line Road, then take the first right. I like to get it straight though. Even though there's really no marked parking, I think this will be good. Alrighty. That's how she's done. All right, so yeah, I got a couple of other loads uh, booked to get me through the weekend, as I talked about earlier, and, um, and we're looking at one that might be really good coming out of that area, uh, down into the Texas somewhere. <laughs> Since Texas is the size of some countries, that doesn't give too much away. All right, yeah, so clutch trucker going to e-logs, believe it or not, yeah, it's happening. Uh, well, you know, because for one, now the FMCSA has put in, back in September, they put out a, a new uh, possible rulemaking where even though trucks like mine that have a 99 or older engine uh, might have to go to e-logs because they found out that a lot of trucks like mine still have an ECM, an uh, engine control module, which is what you need to run an e-log, okay? So they're gonna try to make pretty much uh, paper logs completely illegal. So uh, might as well jump on board now, <clears throat> not to mention the fact that uh, the way I'm running now, compared the way to the way I used to have to run with turquoise, switching to e-logs isn't going to be that big of a, a big deal, because I'm not having to run near as hard as I used to, and I'm still making the same, if not better, money. That was the whole goal of switching companies, getting the hazmat back on my license, so I can make more money with less miles. That's Mark's whole theory with Whitestone's Logistics, who I work for now is, uh, yeah, make more money with less miles. So there's less wear and tear on the truck, uh, you're buying less fuel, and you can make the same amount of money for a lot less, and plus then I'm not constantly running super hard. Like on this load, plenty of extra time. On the stuff I'm gonna be running over the weekend, it's gonna be, again, plenty of extra time. I don't have to uh, run up against the very edge of my clock every day. So switching to an e-log is not gonna be that big a deal for me. Uh, the thing I'm really going to like about it is um, I, right now on paper logs, of course, I have to write down all my miles and everything every day. Look at this right here. See, every time I cross a border, every time at midnight, blah, 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 I have to write down all my miles. Then I have to transfer that all to a trip log sheet. sheet. So Mark can put in the IFTA uh, that I have to pay for each state. And all that's a big pain in the arse, baby. That yeah, takes a lot of time. And with an e-log, that does it all for you. It calculates that all for you. So that's the nice part about an e-log. Uh, I've run e-logs in this very, very truck before when I used to work for Indian Creek Express years ago. So I know I can run one in here. Uh, it's just that company also made you run really hard. And so, you know, having paper logs sometimes was an advantage. But like I say, it's not going to be an issue with the way I run now. So... Yeah, as, as Mark likes to say, you know, some drivers have a problem with adjusting to running less miles for more money. I have been embracing that. Uh, less miles, more money. Uh, hello. Yes, I'll happily take that. Thank you. As I keep telling them, oh, I've been adjusting nicely to that. <laughs> I don't mind at all running less miles for more money. So, yeah, switching to e-logs. It's not going to be a big thing. He's already ordered it for me. It's in. It's just next time we cross paths, he's going to give that to me, and I'll, I'm going to be on e-logs really soon. So when I do do that, when I do do, that I will uh, do a whole video all about switching to the e-logs. Big Roads is the one he uses with White Stones. That's what Turquoise used to use when I first started with him, and then they switched to Keep Trucking. And I have, I, if you've watched me for a long time, I have issues with Keep Trucking. But, uh, so we'll see how that does. And it's going to take a little bit of adjustment for me to get used to that. But, uh, you know, I don't think it's going to be that big a deal. So, yeah, Clutch Trucker going to e-logs. Well, thanks for tuning in for that one. Uh, I know Rusty appreciates it. Why? Because he gets his begging strips. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, 
Yep, amazing. No ass, ha ass hats, ass wagons, idiots in front of me doing stupid stuff today. I can't believe it. And I drove like over 400 miles. It's just amazing. Normally, <laughs> there's a plethora of those, but not today. Uh, all right, yeah. So believe it or not, uh, Clutch Trucker will be going to an e-log. Uh, it's inevitable, so we might as well just join join it in, right? Join the whole thing. And uh, yep, some other truck stop, well, other options for parking other than truck stops. And we'll do a whole thing. I'll do a whole full thing about uh, the Park My Rig guy and his book and his app and everything, because that is you know useful stuff. The more tools you have as a driver, the better. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. Please like and comment. I get your comments as soon as I can. Sometimes it takes a few days because I'm a working truck driver. There's Clutch Trucker on Instagram, Clutch Trucker on Twitter. That's where I usually put Rusty stuff. And as always, if that magic YouTube fairy dust, Clutch and Rusty, out. Hey, hey, honey, can, can I can I show you something? Look, if, if you take that meat and you put it on the on the uh, tin foil, first off, this is too small a piece of tin foil. Let's get a bigger piece right here. See now, first off, you want to put it in there. And then you fold it over once, and you fold it twice, uh, or maybe three times, you know, whatever. But I fold it. I don't like to roll it. Some people like to roll it, but then it rolls all around in the fridge, and that's just annoying. So I fold it, like, once, twice, three times, and then you tuck it under. I, I just think of Elizabeth Taylor, like a tuck here, a fold there, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, you tuck that in, and you get that all folded up, and you see, oh, look at that. No air, no air is getting in that, because you don't want air in there, because why? Air's your enemy. So, look, you take that, and then you put it in the Tupperware, and you burp it, and then you're all set. See, that's good. You can send that to NASA. All right, he's watching, he's watching, he's dancing. Oh, come on down. You didn't... Let me throw it first. There it goes, all right. Down to the last bit of the little pieces here. You're a meatball, Mr. Dog. You've got a furry face. You love to dance for begging strips. You eat them all day long, Mr. Dog. You are definitely a meatball with a really furry face. <laughs> all right, last little bit. Oh, we've got two more little tiny crumbs over here. There you go. All right, did you get them all? All right. Happy dog look. Rusty, look up here. Come on. You got them, Rusty. Hey. <laughs>